Time now for better food. Are you looking for a dessert to show your guests you love them? Well, Adam Sift, or excuse me, Adam Young from Sift Bake I Shop in Mystic. Call Adam Sift anyway. That's <laughs> <laughs> he is here for a white chocolate. I'm so mesmerized by the smells in this. I have been drooling. This is amazing. And well, Adam, thank you. thank you for being here. No, of course. Thank you for having me back. So, so this is essentially something we're preparing for our Valentine's Day week coming up. Um, and it's relatively, I love desserts like this that are, they look really flashy, but they're simple to execute. So I, you know, here, for example, this is basically just a sugar cookie dough that I've made a little paper stencil, rolled out the sugar cookie dough, baked it off, and now we have our, our kind of our foundation for the dessert. Right, so back for that, if you did a, yep. you mean like paper stencil, like you just drew a heart on parchment paper? Essentially, yep. Okay. And then use that as my stencil to cut out the cookies. You can do any shape, you can personalize them. You cut it, you obviously, know. in dough form before you bake it. Exactly, okay. yep. And then uh -huh. we'll, we'll bake them, and then that just becomes almost this, this, found, this Rock hard foundation base for the for the mousse. Okay. So I'm I'm resisting my best Scott Haney and trying not to do this and take a little taste of the side. I'm sorry, but this is so amazing, you yeah, guys. Yeah, it's good about sneaking little tastes here yeah. and there. So, but and then the Bavarian, the white chocolate mousse itself. That's kind of both recipes are available online, but this one is a little more, you know, there's a little more technique involved with this. So I want to show this. So essentially creme anglaise, which is yep. what I like to call, it's essentially the chicken stock of the bakery kitchen because oh. it's very versatile. We use this for a lot of different applications, ice cream base, um, all different types of custards and mousses. So hot cream, egg yolks only, and sugar. We're going to slowly temper this in once this comes to a scald. Right? And you want to slowly pour your hot liquid in, obviously, as we do with all of our Otherwise custards. The eggs get Bingo. Puffed, right? Yep, they'll scramble. scramble the egg yolks. Yep. So we're going to condition that. Whisk it back into the heavy cream here. And this, we're gonna cook, you can stick a thermometer in here and it's, you take it up to 175, 179 degrees. But really, what you're looking for is just for it to become slightly viscous, okay? For that egg protein to coagulate and start to thicken the custard. Okay. It's a custard sauce, essentially. You could serve this with poached bears or any type of roasted fruit. And then again, this is a base for a lot of different pastry applications. Yep. So very quickly here, you can see it's already starting to just kind of thicken, and it should, you know, we say coat the back of a spoon. So I'm actually just gonna grab mm -hmm. one of these so you can see what we're looking for. So it's not super, super thick. There we go. A little bit more, just a little viscous. That, and that okay. holds the structure, okay? All right. All right. So while this is hot, and I'm now going to pour this over some white chocolate and some gelatin. The gelatin will simply just help the, the mousse set. All right. Just those are white chocolate chips. White chocolate chips and a and little bit of gelatin. gelatin. Yeah. Okay. And both of those things will melt and dissolve into the hot custard. Okay. So typically, and this is where the wait period is, you know, you take let this rest for 20 to 30 minutes. So right on your bench is fine. And then we're going to take this. This is called a cremeau. Right? Okay. Um, and then we take this creme base, could be dark chocolate, could be milk chocolate, and we take a little bit of softened whipped cream, yep. or so soft peak whipped cream. Wow. And again, we would normally let this rest so the custard cools down a little bit. And we're gonna fold this whipped cream directly in here. Is this what I'm holding? That, that? is exactly what you're holding. Look so at this, Kara. very gently fold it ah. in. And then obviously when that cools and, and sets and the chocolate firms up, you're left with this pipable mousse texture. Okay. So basically, so that is the white chocolate quick, mousse right that there. That is the white chocolate mousse and that's good in the fridge for five to seven days. I mean, you okay. can make it well in advance and we're just gonna pipe a few bullets here. Yeah, let's turn it around. You wanna so take it away? Yeah. You wanna give it a shot? Here, Kara, you do it first. Well, you, you <laughs> wanna do it? Am I try it? All right, let me try this. Right, yeah, it's it's actually this, Quick. this kind of trifle type of deal where you have something that's very, very delicate. Great, that looks perfect. Yeah. And, um, it's actually addicting. You see, I put a little bit of raspberries and some fresh fruit and preserves in the center. Uh, it's also for engineering purposes. So the mousse, as you can, as you're piping it out, is very delicate. And if you layer this thing up, there's enough weight behind it where it'll squeeze the mousse out. So okay. you kind of want to have something structurally sound like the fresh fruit, the raspberries in the center. That's so they're That's there beautiful. for color and because the they color, hold everything. Color, flavor, and uh, functional oh as well. Gosh. So and then of course to finish this. Look at this Dessert here. Beautiful We've done the top. Oh, that's another one. Another layer of that same cookie, right? Are you going to put it on top? We're going to put it directly on oh. top. So that oh. is I kind of the finished product. I here. don't think I could eat that because it's too pretty. <laughs> if you if one wanted to eat that, what would you do? Do you cut into it? So you can, we're going oh to be God. making them individually at the shop. So they're a little more, they're a little easier to you eat. You can order but you them. You could certainly, yeah. And you could certainly, um, 
uh, cut that with a knife. You know, as it sits with the mousse, the cookie tends to get a little <laughs> bit softer where you can slice it. So I think I just want to be alone <laughs> with this cookie well, look, the way I want. And those are little edible pansies. That's so pretty. Yeah, Remind pansies, you the violas, and, uh, rose petals and whatnot. Yeah, there's some rose water macaroons. And so these are the rose petals are just decoration, right? Or Correct. You can actually we get them from a local farm. You can actually eat this. They're okay. unsprayed. So well, you okay. can't just go to your florist and get them. You okay. Have so is it too late to order one of these for the the Valentine's holiday? Can no, we no, still get well, these? Well, we're going to do them first come first serve the okay. individual ones at the shop, and we do have a Valentine's Day menu with a bunch of different things on it, chocolate desserts and whatnot, that you can certainly place your pre-orders by Sunday. Oh my gosh. Wow, look how pretty that, that is. is. Yeah, very exciting stuff. I'm right? clapping for you. Right. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> You're Gorgeous. very welcome. Thank you very much for having me on. If you want one of these, the Bake Shop is located on Water Street in Mystic. You'll find a menu and more information online at siftbakeshopmystic.com.